Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. This is Anton, and today I'll be reviewing this wood PLA filament by Saint Smart. So let's get to it. Well guys, I would usually start by unboxing this filament, but I won't because it just came wrapped in some plastic wrap and thrown inside an unsealed bag. As it is PLA based, I thought exposure to humidity might have affected it. Luckily, this was not the case. As for the spool itself, well, there isn't much thought put into it. It's made out of cardboard, so it's not reusable, gets torn apart quickly, and cannot be used in spool holders where it rolls over some bearings, due to the fact that its own weight squishes the cardboard. It's also missing the holes to run the filament through when not in use. My solution, poke some holes along the edge with a sharp object. This will keep your filament from unwinding. Now, what about the filament itself? First of all, the filament is a mixture between PLA and wood dust. This gives the filament a rough texture, which I thought might get the extruder gear to slip. Yet, this was never a problem. You also need to be careful how the filament is fed to the printer, because it is very brittle and tends to break if bent too much. So what about printing it? Due to the fact that it is PLA based, a heat bed is not necessary, but recommended at 60 degrees together with some hairspray for optimal bed adhesion. Using an E3D V6 with a 0.5 nozzle, I found 200 degrees Celsius and fans all the way on to be a sweet spot between great layer adhesion and little stringing. I also suggest not using a nozzle smaller than 0.4 or you could plug it with the wood dust and the filament. To test the filament, I printed a calibration tower, a cube, a Marvin, a 3D Benchy, and other prints that look great with this filament. One very cool thing about some wood filament is their ability to get darker the hotter you extrude them, giving them a more realistic wood look. Unfortunately, probably due to a low wood composition in the filament, there was no color change even if the bottom of this tower was printed at 195 degrees and the top at 240 degrees. If we look at the calibration cube, it looks great. The corners, letters, and top printed out perfectly. Same story with the marving, all overhangs and curves look great. The only imperfections were probably due to the printer itself and not the filament. Next, this 3D Benchy printed out very nicely. All overhangs, corners, curves, and bridging also looked great, but there is some stringing. Luckily, due to the filament's brittleness, the stringing is easily removed. I also printed a vase and a bust of Groot. The vase looks amazing, but Groot, well, not so much. And this is why. You probably noticed that layers were easily visible in every print. This is because the filament's diameter is quite inconsistent. But don't get me wrong. For this filament, that is not necessarily bad. Wood is not smooth either, so a rougher texture looks more like real wood. Yet, due to the low wood composition of this filament, it still looks more like PLA than wood. Two normal solutions for this are sanding and straining. I tried both, but none had great results. Sanding did make it look a little bit more like wood, but not that much. And the wood stain wasn't even absorbed because it is mostly plastic. So after testing this filament for a while, I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for a very realistic wood look in your prints without any post-processing. However, if you want to try out an inexpensive exotic filament that looks a little bit like wood after sanding, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description along with the best wood filament I know so far. Well guys, that was all for this review. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, and if you still haven't, subscribe to the channel to support us. Again, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.